Today, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given f of x equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, wherein a, b, c, and d are all rational numbers, and also it is given that f of square root of 2 plus square root of 3 equals square root of 2. Now the question is what is the numerical value of f of 10? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this information, the goal is to evaluate f of 10. So what is the numerical value of this f of 10? Alright, now, we don't have any tricks for this kind of question. So what we're going to do is to get our function. And what we're going to do is to apply the given, which is, it says, that when we replace all x with square root of 2 plus square root of 3, we get square root of 2. So we need to replace all x with square root of 2 plus square root of 3, like this. Now, on the left-hand side of our equation, it is given that f of square root of 2 plus square root of 3 is equivalent to square root of 2. So we can replace this with square root of 2, like this. And now we will focus on this result. And for sure, what we're going to do here is to expand square root of 2 plus square root of 3 raised to the power of 3, and square root of 2 plus square root of 3 raised to the power of 2. Now, on the first one, we can expand this using this identity, a plus b raised to the power of 3. This is equivalent to a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Also, we can expand the second one using the identity a plus b raised to the power of 2, which is equivalent to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, applying this identity to square root of 2 plus square root of 3 raised to the power of 3, we get something like this. And also, applying this identity to the second one, we get something like this. And now, let's focus on this one and let's simplify. So square root of 2 squared is 2 and square root of 3 squared is 3. Now, 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 3, this is just 2 times square root of 6. And 2 plus 3 Combine like terms, 2 plus 3 is 5. So square root of 2 plus square root of 3 raised to the power of 2 is equivalent to 5 plus 2 times square root of 6. So we can replace this with 5 plus 2 times square root of 6. Now, let's focus on this expression and let's simplify. So first, square root of 2 raised to the power of 3 is 2 times square root of 2. 3 times square root of 2 squared, this is just 3 times 2 times square root of 3 or simply 6 times square root of 3. This is 3 times 3 or 9 times square root of 2 or 9 times square root of 2. And square root of 3 cubed is 3 times square root of 3. Now combining like terms, this is equivalent to 11 times square root of 2 plus 9 times square root of 3. So this is the equivalent of square root of 2 plus square root of 3 raised to the power of 3. So, of course, we can replace this with its equivalent. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is to distribute this A inside the parentheses, distribute this B inside the parentheses, and distribute this C inside the parentheses like this. And then what we're going to do is to combine like terms, having square root of 2 and square root of 3 like this. Because what we're going to do here is to compare the left-hand side and the right hand side. So what I'm going to do is to equate 11a plus c with the coefficient of square root of 2 on the left hand side which is equivalent to 1. Now 9a plus c this is equivalent to 0 because we don't have square root of 3 on the left hand side of our equation. Now technically speaking this b and d are both equal to 0. Now let's focus on this for equations because from here we can also for the value of a b c and d we have b and d so what we're going to do is to solve for a and c so using the first two equations if we subtract these two equations to eliminate this variable c we get something like 2a equals 1 
And of course, divide both sides by 2, we get that A equals 1 over 2. And that is the value of A. And to solve for the value of C, replacing this A to the second equation, we get that the value of C is equivalent to negative 9 over 2. Now, we have the values of A, B, C, and D. So, we can now have our f of x. And since B and D are both equal to 0, this term are gone because those are just 0. And our function now is equivalent to f of x equals 1 half x cubed minus 9 over 2 times x. And now since we have now our function, we can now find f of 10. So what we're going to do is to replace all x with 10. Now simplify. 10 cubed is 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. And 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 9 is 45. So 500 minus 45 is simply equivalent to 455. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this function, f of x equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, wherein a, b, c, and d are both rational numbers. And also it's given that f of square root of 2 plus square root of 3 equals square root of 2. Now, our answer is 455, which is the equivalent of f of 10. And also, if we want to have our function, then we can say that our function is equivalent to 1 half x cubed minus 9 over 2 times x. And as always, we are done. And of course, don't stop asking questions because in asking questions, we discover. And if we discover, we learn. And in learning, we grow. See you on our next video.